No, I never said I had met him. I said I knew him. And what I meant by that was... Because in lockdown, during lockdown, we spoke like not once, not twice, not three times. So we spoke quite to several times. So I just felt like, okay, I already know this person now. He's not a stranger. So in my mind, I'm like, I know this. I don't know if he felt like we're still strangers after talking so many times. Like, So that was what I meant. Not like I had met him or something, but we had, you know, discussed about ourselves, told each other about ourselves. So that's where I was coming from. I'm like, this person, I didn't meet this person in the house as a stranger. But that was it. Ozo is such an understanding person. Like, he is super, super understanding. So, I don't think... Maybe he was hurt a couple of times. But not because I told him I didn't... I wasn't ready for a relationship. I think it was more because of the way I, you know, said it. And I apologized to him after the house. Because as I then, I didn't really think... You know, I didn't really think I was really hurting his feelings like that. I just felt like I was trying to pass a message in the hardest way possible. I just don't know. Understand what I'm saying. That's what it was for me. So we had that conversation the day of uh, the day of the finale. So he told me, no, it wasn't as it seemed. So they were apparently instructed, you know, not to come too close so they don't pass the wrong signals and stuff so yeah i didn't see that at that point i didn't know it that's why i reacted that way but we're cool now we're good it's been uh pretty much the same thing we're still two people loyal to each other in the house outside the house nothing changed nothing really changed we're just trying to you know work on our friendship and i feel like right now Everybody's just trying to focus on themselves and build their brand, so we're just there. Interesting thing, um, Nigerian slants about during your stay in the house mm. was um, there was a discrepancy about your age. Um, some people said uh, you were 22, others said no, you're not 22. So we'd love for you to just clear the air about your age. How old are you? <laughs> would I go that far to get a tattoo on my Anku, the most painful place you can possibly get it at to, to prove a lie. Like, hell no. I'm 22, Journey 1st, 1998. You guys can go to the hospital. We want we clinic, but I could go and check. They'll show you. So, nah, nah. I didn't, I didn't lie about it. No, I didn't feel like I had to get it out of my chest because my surgery is, you will know. If I don't tell you, you will know I had surgery. It's that good. So I just felt like, personally, even before the house, I don't feel like it's something I need to hide. Yeah, I walk on my body like, mm -hmm, so you just give me the money to do it. I will tell you, I will say it. I will stand on the mountain and say, like, I don't really care about, like, I don't see the need to criticize people about decisions they make for themselves. So, like, for me, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, for me, I just want to focus on my business, um, expand, like, I'm actually, there's too many ideas in my head, but I'm trying to, I don't want to rush anything. I want to be sure this is what I want to do. And definitely I'm going to expand my shoe line, but there's other things I want to dive into as well. And I also want to go to film school, train, and, you know, go into entertainment industry uh yeah and i'm also working on some i'm working on having my own foundation uh to tackle gender-based violence the best way i can yeah that's pretty much it for me